Hello, this is the Balkan Architect and today I will teach you how to create a rendering in Revit. So here I've got this camera view pointing at my building and you may notice this tree that looks kind of too close but that's in order to create depth in your rendering. You, you need to have this building that's in the distance and something that's close and that creates depth. Now, to in order to see what size of your rendering you will have you'll need to select this crop size and you go here crop size and you can see your width and your height now this is in millimeters if you're using inches you will have it in inches so now you can see a field of view but you need to select scale in order to change this rendering and keep the proportion so now I can change this number but this number will change accordingly so if I go 500 and I go apply you see the height changes accordingly now I will go cancel I will undo that now we'll zoom in I have changed this maybe it's better to have it in hidden line and now we need to render so now you go to view and you have here render the shortcut is RR. You can render in cloud, but I don't like it because then CIA knows what your building looks like. Just kidding. So I will hit RR for shortcut for rendering. Here we've got this render window. We've got this render button up here. We'll hit that later. First we need to set up quality. So I usually go with high. This quality doesn't mean the density of the pixels. This just means how will the computer calculate all the shadows and reflections and the higher you go up over here there will be more reflections and everything but I think high is as high as you should go anything more than that slows down the rendering needlessly now resolution you can go to screen or to printer I want to print this so I will go here and I can go 300 pixels per inch and I go with and height that's determined by that crop size that we did a bit earlier now we've got here what kind of lighting we have we're only using Sun we don't have artificial lighting so we'll go Sun only Sun settings is you need to set up what time of day is it now this is sunlight from top left this is the simplest one and that's when you select lighting but you can go to still and then you can go summer solstice winter solstice you can choose different lighting types this is basically the position of the Sun but I like to go sunlight from top left when you check here lighting and you can set up the exact position of the Sun using these here degrees but I will go apply and OK now here we've got background that is what will appear behind our building you can have no clouds a few clouds very few few clouds very few clouds cloudy very cloudy this is if you're creating some rendering that will have rain or I don't know or you can go color and you can decide what color you can do if you go with this green then you can later in post-production you can select just the green and use it as a green screen basically to put whatever image you want in the background but I will go cancel and I will go with few clouds that I found out looks best and here we have adjust exposure now I recommend you don't change this in the beginning because you can change this once you've already made your rendering so I will go cancel and once everything is set up I will hit render now because we don't want to wait for this rendering to be over I will cancel it I will go stop uh, do you want you are you sure yes I'm sure so I will go escape it's not important but you basically get an image that looks like this and then with just a little post-production in Photoshop you can get it looking like this and when you finish your renderings they will appear here on the renderings tab in your project browser if you open it up here we've got a rendering and that's basically how you create a render in Revit
Thank you for watching, subscribe for more videos and have a nice day.